hello guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel this is another video in instrument control using labview series so this time i have request from uh, mtech student uh, she is working on some kind of project and uh, uh, in which she will use kth layer smu and laxo temperature controller uh, with the help of these instruments she is supposed to measure uh, voltage current resistance and temperature of a sample uh, and uh, also she want to save uh, data in form of excel or text file uh, so uh, I was helping her in, in this programming section so I just wanted to share uh, this program to you so that I am sharing this program so that other student working on the same kind of product uh, could get benefit of it. So let's start uh, from a new VI. Okay, so we want to control uh, temperature. Uh, we want to control Lexo temperature controller. So and also one for destination temperature or end temperature. Also, I need number of scan point. Also, I need an indicator for set temperature and indicator for error estimation. Also, I need uh, wait for stabilization. So these things uh, will be on front panel. Uh, so let's arrange this thing on block diagram where things actually work. Just make all of them not icon. Okay. So we have previously done uh, this kind of programming for controlling Laxo temperature controller. So what I need, I just need a for loop numeric subtract we will subtract start temperature from end temperature look uh, these things should not uh, be set that is default uh, we have to change little bit because we cannot reach temperature arbitrarily we have to see instrument also so uh, we will limit it to 0 Kelvin to 500 Kelvin entering value more than this the instrument will not will not respond so this this will be in this limit also <coughs> this will be only in this limit also we will fix range for uh, end temperature <coughs> this has also be this will also be 0 to 500 number of scan points should be in the form of integers stabilization should also be in the form of integer in form of second will divide this uh, difference this temperature difference by number of scan points And 
this should also be connected with n and this divided temperature will be multiplied with number of iterations of loop and then added with start temperature so this is this will be set temperature as we have previously done so now uh, i want i will use some instrument drivers of uh, laxor better to pin this here yeah so first i have to initialize it model is 331 we have nothing to do with model but yeah uh, we will use instrument driver of same model uh, then we will configure range also this time this is also important so we have to select uh, this time uh, we will also select something to change range of heater of laxo that also that should be in previous video also but i forgot somehow so here uh, we will make it control so that uh, heater range can be selected from here uh, either it is off or on low medium high okay it, it depends on temperature you for detail you have to see manual of uh, this instrument but we will put it here and then we will put a flat sequence configure set point and then we want to read the set point so we will go in read sensor we will go for read sensor Okay. 
again uh, we will take difference of reading uh, set by program and measured by instrument there will always be some difference this will be in the form of error okay uh, so uh, again we have to compare the error it should not be very high so on comparison in palette we will select less and this is error temperature and here we will put a constant for 1 kelvin okay again we will put all these things in while loop if uh, error is less than 1 kelvin then this loop will stop and program will go forward otherwise it have to wait in this loop again and again to sense data so what we do we put something to wait here in, in flat seconds yeah. we will give some time to instrument to adjust its temperature we will let instrument wait 1000 millisecond here in this structure uh, th this loop means uh, if error is greater than 1 degree 1 kelvin then this will wait in this loop uh, by interval of one second 1000 millisecond so this frame of uh, uh, flat sequence is for setting temperature so we will name it set temperature temperature is not stable always so as soon as we give command the instrument set the temperature but still there is some fluctuation in temperature so we will add another frame and in this frame we will allow instrument to wait for a stabilization So here instrument will wait for given number of seconds and then now if temperature is stable then this is stabilization part. And if temperature is stabilized then surely we will go forward for measurement. Add another frame for measurement.
we will again sense temperature for preciseness for accuracy so of measurement so this will be here So uh, now we will put a close VI for Laxo. Let's put it for last value. Now we have done uh, the temperature controller part. So now we will add uh, SMU measurement in this. And we will use instrument divers of uh, KTLA source meter unit for measurement of voltage, resistance, and current. Let's see. Okay, so now we want to make a program for uh, uh, Ketle SMU. This is a 2450 model, and uh, uh, it is better to use its instrument diver for, for the better performance and accuracy. So, what I will do, I will use initialize VI. Same as we had done for Laxo. It's the similar process for both instruments. For any instrument, this is SMU. And then uh, we have to configure output. And then we will configure source. All should be same for uh, Ketle 2450. As you can see, it's, it's model on VI. So it should be source level should be controlled. Source modes will also be controlled. And source limitable is not required for our purpose source function will connect to this uh, and uh, uh, 
and then we will put measurement vi it should be control and then we want to read data so we will uh, add another frame for data single point we will we have to put enable output also so that uh, after measurement output should remain on in on state otherwise it will be closed fractional exponential is being to be interesting to number So here you will have your data Okay so uh, with the help of uh, this simple program you can acquire data of uh, temperature you can set temperature and uh, acquire data uh, so you can uh, arrange things on front panel according to your convenience so what we will do we will select first instrument this would be here meter range and this is temperature controller and this is measurement and this is source setting and this is data so we have our 
organize things here uh, what uh, you can do uh, if you want to plot a graph of uh, suppose uh, you want to measure uh, voltage with time or current or resistance with time so you just need to have a graph uh, this is waveform chart will be very good uh, so you have not to add extra thing for time if you are using waveform chart so this you can uh, add with data uh, uh, suppose you want to uh, measure uh, suppose you want to measure uh, 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 voltage current or resistance with respect to temperature then you should have uh, another graph XY graph and replace it with shift register temperature with this wire here it's okay now and then we have to repeat the same thing for this data also and replace with self register this is this is not required now. Better to connect this. And downside and this above. It's okay now. And the same here also. Otherwise, uh, we may have difficulty in making array of data <coughs> it's okay now uh, now we can connect uh, graph with this xy graph with this again we will create bundle for it and then 
this. It's okay now. This is data versus temperature graph. Data may be voltage, current, or resistance. And uh, this is, will be data versus time graph. We will little bit decorate it. This could be for measurement settings. source setting you, you may decorate it as to this I am just giving a general description data for data is graph on both graph you can get uh, data versus time and then data versus temperature uh, if you want to save these data then you um, we have already shown in uh, previous videos how to save data there is a, a better way efficient way just right click on this plot and put export in excel okay so an excel file will open you can see this 
and in this file you can get time and uh, data in different columns uh, similarly if you want to save data uh, data versus temperature then again you have to export data in form of excel again another excel will be open and in which you can have this data see this this one time um, okay so you can save data in this form and uh, you can check whether what is the result otherwise if you if you're not comfortable with this then you can use previous technique to uh, save data so and this this is from my side uh, okay uh, we, we can uh, arrange things on block diagram also but we we select all the vi's and press on this cleanup diagram and uh, then it will be in arranged form so this is from my side uh, in source setting we can select source voltage or current and uh, we can put the value for source like uh, suppose we want to perform all the measurement of constant temperature, constant voltage, then it should voltage should be fed here. So this is all about this program from from my side. Uh, thank you for watching.